Scutobarosaurus. We saw the holotype of this recently, and now I'm seeing it again. And it's in a very different pose than the one we saw last. This is a Japanese plesiosaur swimming through. I love the neck, the beautiful, beautiful cervical vertebrae and how they've built this out. They've got it flying through the water. And these elasmosaurs, these long plesiosaurs, they did, they swam, they flew through the ocean. And some people argue they could swim backwards and forward. Nothing like this today exists. Turtles are about the closest you come up with. This is absolutely one of my favorite sea creatures because it has a long, long neck, but also because it's just so cool. The skull was found as well. Here is the entirety of it. You can see the classic elasmosaur teeth. Amazing. And then below you have the quarry map. I love quarry maps. They're so helpful in research. And above is the articulated section, as well as some additional bones that were found of the original.